All right, relax for a second. Let okay. your eyes rest. <laughs> Getting tired? Yeah, yeah. It's, it feels like straining on, on the, right the right side. side that's that's sure. going to be really normal. So we, you know, we'll do a little bit of work, take a little bit of a break, mm -hmm. a little work, take a break. The main thing I want to see now, go ahead and pull it back up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to bring this a little closer. Can you make anything out? Can you get two strings on the yellow yet? Uh, can I bounce it? Yeah, and see absolutely. It? Yeah, go ahead and switch off, guys. No. No. <laughs> so right now it's mainly in, in yeah. this distance right here? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That looks weird when that one's up closer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, a little bit. Good. Better from there. A little better from there? Yeah. Awesome. Now with you, I'm going to actually pull these other beads out of the way. Okay. Here, go ahead and let them oh. come there. And we're going to see how you do with red. Okay. See if it's easier for you to see with red. That looks a lot more definitive. A lot more definitive, right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to be your practice one for now. Okay. All right. So Noted. keep bouncing it for a second. All right. Here he comes. Here he comes. Right. I'm getting the X on the yellow and the red and a Y on the green. Perfect. Okay, so now, the, like I said, again, think about this as an exercise device because I mentioned yesterday that this is one of my favorite things to use. Mm -hmm. Using this as an exercise device, we now want to make it more challenging. Mm -hmm. so, that, so that you can do red, yellow, green. Now I want you to look away and come back to the red. Mm -hmm. Look away, go to the green. Look away, yellow. Now look to the right and yellow. So basically, if you have someone that, that's playing, that, you know, like I said, you're working with a partner, you guys are competing a little bit, they can just give you different uh, colors to call, or you can call it yourself. Oh, I see. You look away, right. you come back on it. Right, okay. Because we're now trying to pick up the speed at which we can actually focus. Does okay. that make sense to you guys? Yeah. And, and the goal is when you come back to, to, to make sure it's in focus. Correct. Okay. Now, for those of you, and you particularly as a handball player, yeah. The next stage of development I would probably have you go through is I would have you potentially get into an athletic position right. and do the same drills. Yeah. Yeah. Because what we oftentimes find, you're right, see how your body kind of, go ahead and lengthen, get a little taller. Yeah. <laughs> what we oftentimes find is that when put, we put people in this uh, more specific positions utilizing this device, yeah. sometimes their focal uh, capacity isn't as good. Did it change at all? Um, I, I was folk, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm thinking about too many shoulder. things at the same time. So, <laughs> okay. but I, but I get the idea. Yeah. 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 So, and this is one of the big things that we talk about every time we do vision training with athletes is that over time we start with the comfortable seated lying down, but then eventually we want you to do your vision training in positions that are more applicable to your sport or your basic activity. Okay. You doing good? Yeah. It only, I only see it from like right here. That's okay. That's okay. a great start.